Well, one lucky peacock in Exeter is now on the road to recovery after it was shot with an arrow almost two weeks ago. Now the veterinarian says he's lucky to be alive. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesios gives us an update on this story. I can imagine that was a hard bird to catch. Oh yeah, it was very hard. <laughs> We'll tell you about that in just a minute on how hard this bird was to catch, but Critter Creek volunteer veterinarian tells me people shooting animals like this is actually more common than you actually think. But what's not common is the fact that this bird survived over a week with an arrow stuck through its entire body. I don't know how he survived that because it was literally going through his rear end all the way through his chest cavity and out the other side. That's also what veterinarian Maureen Lee Dutra said when she was examining the x-rays of the peacock shot with an arrow. This was a, a very, you know, this was an exceptional case in that, you know, surprisingly this arrow just, it, it basically again just went under the skin from one side to the other and did not damage any internal organs. While it was hard to watch the first time. The he would move and the tip, the arrow would move. Dana Schrader, who spotted the peacock, says everyone in the area had an even harder time trying to help him. Lots of hours and time trying to catch him, and he slipped by all of us. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He was slick, that one. Not just neighbors. Animal Control, Tulare County Sheriff's Office, and California Fish and Wildlife all tried to catch the bird. Nine days after it was spotted, a couple who lives in the neighborhood finally trapped him. He had um, a rope going from the cage door to his into his living room basically so he'd stay in front of his living room window and put little treats out for them. The peacock was taken to Tulare County Animal Services to remove the arrow. Lee Dutra says Schrader and other volunteers did the right thing because it could have been a lot worse. So I think it brings light, you know, that there are people out here, you know, willing to um, take the time to catch those birds, treat those birds, uh, and then see them back to being released again. You know, I'm excited to see them come home, so it's a good feeling. Lee Dutra tells me she's not sure if the person who shot the peacock will be charged with anything. But just as a reminder, according to California Penal Code 597, it is a crime to torture, wound, or kill a living animal intentionally, and that can result in three years in state prison, as well as a fine up to $20,000, Liz. So glad to hear it is on the mend already. Thank you so much, Sophia. Now, while the peacock is still recovering, volunteers ended up naming him Cupid. The vet says they plan on releasing him back into the wild later this month.